Okay, Coach, congrats on the 7-0 sweep. Well, who are some of your top performers for the men's team? Uh, you know, I thought they all did well. Uh, it was nice to see Guido back in the lineup and, and uh, doing his thing at six. I thought he did a great job. He always brings great energy, so that was fun to watch. Um, uh, Deuce did a great job as well. Uh, he always brings a ton of energy. That's, that's super important for me. And, um, man, I thought they all did really well. Johan said that he played one of the best matches of the year. He felt like he had been in a bit of a slump, so to see him come off the court smiling was good. I thought um, Yada did great at line three. He had uh, There were a lot of people from the Czech Republic on the other team, so I think uh, he, he really wanted to come out and do well. And uh, and then David Killian did great at one and two, you know, got it done in straight sets. And the women's team, they won six one with one singles loss. Can you talk about their performances as well? Well, yeah, I, I think uh, you know the big thing uh, that I keep uh, preaching to them is, you know, this is all kind of a build towards conference, and we're not just going to be able to flip on positive body language uh, like a light switch or something come conference time. So it's super important to me that. They continue to be process oriented and you know fight when they're not doing well and uh they did a great job of that today so i was really pleased with that and um that's definitely we can't control outcomes so seeing them continue to kind of dive into the process and understand that you know it's about improving uh is super important so i thought th i thought they did great um you know angela i wish you would have got it done at line six uh more for her than me, you know, she's really improved so much. And so, um, you know, to come up with a, you know, a tight third set loss, I know she was, she was disappointed, but you know, that's, uh, we were talking about, you know, breakdowns come before breakthroughs. So I think she's right on the cusp of kind of, um, upping her level. And, um, you know, I was really proud of Saskia at line one, uh, after losing the first set, she was another one that, She's been kind of struggling a bit, been a little bit down this season, uh, and I know it's the second half of her senior year. She feels a little bit of pressure uh, with that, and so to see her kind of come back and get through it and then win the tiebreaker, I think 10-0, I thought that was great. So she needed that one. And you have another tough match tomorrow against Missouri Baptist. On the men's side, they receive votes in the top 25 poll. Can you preview that one for the fans? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be good. Uh, you know, we're, we're excited. I, I think you know we get excited for the the tough matches that that's what makes it fun and uh you know it's nice to have teams that are receiving votes wanting to come play us you know um that's really great i think we welcome that challenge and uh yeah it'll, it'll be fun so we'll see how it goes all right thanks dave the saints men and women both beat bethel college today the men won the doubles point and then won all the singles matches to win 7-0 the women won the doubles point and won all but one singles match to win 6-1 the saints will host missouri baptist tomorrow at 10 a.m in the saints invite for other saints network i'm ryan o'keefe